Hello, friends. This is story time. Today's story is Oxford Reading Tree Stage Five, Vanishing Cream, series created by Roderick Hunt and Alex Brigda. Do you see the cover page? What's happened to Chip's hand? Let's find out. The children were at school. They made a little theater. They made it out of a box. The children put on a play. The play was about a wizard. He was called Wizard Blot. Wizard Blot made mistakes. Wizard Blot made a spell. The spell went wrong. Oh dear! Oh dear! Said Wizard Blot. <laughs> Everyone laughed. Everyone liked the play. Mrs. May liked Wizard Blot. Beef was in her room. The key began to glow. Chip! Chip! Called Beef. Chip ran into Beef's bedroom. The magic took them inside the little house. The magic took them to Wizard Blot's house. The wizard wanted some help. Come in," said the wizard. "I wanted one helper, but two will do." Come in," said the wizard. "You can wash up, then you can tidy up." Beef and Chip looked at the mess. "Don't be lazy," said the wizard, "or I'll turn you into frogs." Beef and Chip did the washing up. "I don't like this," said Chip. But I don't want to be a frog. I don't like ironing," said Beef. "But we don't want to be frogs." Oh no! Beef dropped the bottle. It was vanishing cream. Help!" said Beef. "This is vanishing cream." Chip looked at his hands. "Oh no," he said. "Bits of us are vanishing." He rubbed his face. "Oh no," said Beef. "Your face is vanishing." A man came to the house. He climbed through the window. The man didn't see Beef and Chip. He took all the wizard's computer disks. Help! Help! Said the man. I'm being attacked by the machine. Wizard Blood came back. Beef told him about the vanishing cream. Chip gave Wizard Blood the computer disks. The wizard was pleased. It was time to go home. Thank you," said Wizard Blot. "Do come again." Beef had a little bottle. "Don't drop it," said Chip. "It's vanishing cream." The end. Did you find out why Chip's hands were disappeared? Yes, that's because of vanishing cream. <laughs> Good job, everyone! I'll bring a new story very soon for you guys. See you next time. Bye.